YouTube. Welcome to another Hit Film Pro tutorial. Today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you on how to add a shake effect to your video. Now, you want to start by clicking on this new option here to create a new project. Make sure your project is 1920 pixels by 1080 and go ahead and click on start editing it should be a 60 frames per second 1080p full HD YouTube video. Now go ahead click on on the bottom left and I'm going to select my video from my folder right here this is the video that I have as you guys can see it is imported into the project so I'm going to just go ahead quickly trim it to the right position where I want the shake effect to be so I'm going to go ahead and trim it from the beginning and now as you guys can see in the video I'm just dramatically pretending that there's an earthquake happening and that's what I'm going to do in this video I'm going to show you how to add a shake effect so it looks like that there's like an earthquake happening uh, in this uh, video that I am editing here so I'm going to go ahead and trim it right here as well and I'm going to go ahead use video I don't want the audio and I'm going to drag it into the timeline all right as you guys can see it's in the timeline so I'm going to go into my effects here and I'm going to search in the search box I'm going to search for shake all right so here we go this is the shake effect so you want to go ahead click on it drag it all the way onto the video all right and you're going to go ahead and let me just check if everything's okay everything should be perfect for a earthquake all right, yeah, effects, clip properties, uh, blend, normal. Yeah, we don't want motion, uh, motion blur. Uh, all right, everything is okay. Now, let's just go ahead and play the video real quick. All right, so let's play the video here. As you guys can see, this is the video. So you can see there is a shake effect, which is kind of cool. Um, my, actually, my laptop is kind of laggy, though, but there is definitely a shake effect. Uh, so let me just go ahead and trim it so I'm going to go back into my effects because I don't actually like the speed uh, I'm gonna go into my controls panel here and I don't like the speed of the um, of the shake uh, it doesn't really look like that it's an earthquake it's like a light earthquake I want it to be a heavy one so I'm gonna go into my controls panel go into my controls panel search box click on speed and increase the speed uh, to maybe like 740 7.40 and let me let me just go ahead and test it here how is it all right it's kind of good yeah i like it but uh, i think i should do like more probably like 13 so it's like a real earthquake all right here we go let's see oh yeah that is so nice that's actually perfect that's actually really good really really good i really like that uh sorry about that but my laptop's kind of laggy anyway that's it for this video make sure you guys subscribe turn on those post notifications go ahead smash that like button and also only 99 percent of you uh, are not subscribed so please smash that subscribe button as well i'll see you guys in the next your tech video bye for now